What do we want to see built? What do we want to see observed? Where do we want to go in space? And this is what generates what we call the decadal survey. And I had the privilege of being one of the committee members in 2010 when the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope was being proposed. In fact, it wasn't named for anybody yet because it didn't exist yet. And here's a letter that came with the book, the science book of the LSST. And it's to the members of the Decadal Survey Committee. And it introduces the contents of this book so that we can think about it, evaluate it, and judge whether the allocation of monies, scarce resources, from the National Science Foundation, uh, from NASA, from private donations, as money arises within the decade to come, how will we apportion it? What are the priorities that we establish for ourselves as a community? That's how we get stuff done. The Hubble telescope was in a decadal survey. The VLA, the Very Large Array Radio Telescope, that was a project that came out of the decadal survey. So we come together and we duke it out. Is that the right phrase? I don't know. We pitch our best science. And since those in the decadal survey are among the most trusted within the community, if a project is elevated or reduced in priority, it's done with some sense that things landed where they needed to, where they should be for the greater good of the astrophysics community. Well, Money's got allocated. And what was the goal of this telescope? To not simply image the sky, 